still not fully awake. There was this male red deer last night doing his thing, his bugles. I could just imagine when he's like, I was laying there in bed thinking, you know, <laughs> he's just calling out. Hey girl, why don't you just come on right over? We could hang out, you know, do our thing. Just crawl, crawl on over into my bed. It's kind of what I imagine he was saying. Specifically in that voice too. See what's the plan for today. Might try to just fish all day. Definitely starting to feel the lack of energy due to calorie deficiencies. It's like I'm living on minimum wage here and I'm kind of living day to day as much as I possibly can. So mainly the thing that I'm focused on is finding a long-term food source that being a deer or a lot of smoked fish. My survival strategy isn't necessarily about energy conservation. Fish on. It's about finding ways to live out here. Ah. Austin. Got my boots wet. There's a correlation between how I'm feeling mentally and emotionally and the amount of food that I'm getting. Not having food is making things a little bit more difficult on me. Another little guy on. I can't get discouraged. Fish on. Oh, yeah. I want to make sure that I put as much energy into every aspect of my life out here. I feel like I can be successful if I'm really persistent. Nice. It's amazing. Another one. If you haven't been to a spot in a while, they just, uh, they forget. I'm not sure what it is. It's just a nice little boost at a time when you need it. Every little bit counts. I've been out here a long time and I still can't believe that I'm actually out here and I'm doing it. I'm successful. And I will be the first one to tell you that there are times when I had my doubts. All the fish on camera here. All right, well, I'm calling it at nine. Nine's a good number. That gives me five. After dinner and breakfast, that gives me five fish to smoke. 10 halves, which is pretty good. It's damn good. <laughs> 